Hey guys, Mark here. Today, I've got a quick little video about upgrading the tail rotor on your Honeybee Fixed Pitch version 2. Um, so this is a quick, cheap upgrade, and basically what it is, is it's removing the stock tail motor and tail rotor setup and replacing it with the direct drive tail motor and tail rotor from the eSky Honeybee CP3. Um, so the uh, people have been adding the direct drive tail motors to the Honeybee series for many years now. Uh, and they've had little kits that you could buy. Um, there's aftermarket motors you could buy. But now, because the CP3 comes with the direct drive tail motor, installing the direct drive tail motor on the Honeybee is easier than ever before. Um, to do this upgrade, you need three things. Uh, it's pretty cheap, cost me about $8, um, and then it cost me the shipping. So I got the stuff from Heli Direct. Uh, depending on where you live, your shipping will be, you know, who knows. Um, but there's lots of places you can buy these parts. Uh, any place that sells parts for the eSky Honeybee CP3 should carry these parts. Uh, what you'll need is the direct drive tail motor. You'll need the tail rotor that goes with the direct drive tail motor. Um, now the screws to mount the motor come with the tail rotor. Um, not really sure why, but... And then you're going to need the heat sink to go with the tail motor because uh, it just gets hot. Um, so now the direct drive tail motor, what this is going to do for you, it's going to give you better flight performance. Uh, the tail motor is more powerful than the stock setup, uh, so you're going to get better control of the tail of your helicopter. Uh, and these last a little bit longer. Uh, it's about the same price as the original setup, uh, but, you know, like I said, this is going to be better for you. So to do this swap, all you got to do is unsolder the wires going to your original motor, take it off, take your tail rotor setup off, go ahead and mount the new motor using the screws that come with the tail rotor here. Mount the tail rotor, put the heat sink on, re-solder the wires, and you're good to go. Um, now on the back of this, back of the motor here, uh, it is marked where the positive terminal goes. Now in case you solder the, the wires on backwards, all you got to do is take the wire out of your 4 and one and switch it over and then plug it back in and you'll be good to go. So real quick, I'm just going to make uh, show you a quick vid of me swapping the parts out and then just a quick little video of me flying it. Okay, so first step, getting the tail rotor off, and that's just as simple as removing this collar back here. Oops. Take that off, take that off, take that off, and go ahead and push that through. You may end up getting the bearings with it. Um, if you do, that's okay, because you do want to take those out. Now, what I'm going to do is, over here on the other side, so I've got my just my soldering iron here. This is a little 30 watt soldering iron. So now I can just real quickly heat it up and it'll pop off. Alright, there's that. So now, go ahead back to the other side. And I'm going to take out the two screws holding the main motor up. Or the tail motor, rather. To get the other bearing out, what you can do is you can go ahead and take the same little thing here and just push it back through from the other side there, and you can see how that just pops right out. All right, so now the mount the uh, new motor here. Um, now the screws for it come with the tail rotor here, so just remember that. Now what I'm gonna do is on the back side of this, there is actually a little mark for the positive side, so I'm gonna mount it with the positive side up. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the screws out and screw that in there real quick. Alright, tail motor is installed, so now I'm going to go ahead and install the tail rotor here. It's as simple as putting it on and tightening up the grub screw here. Alright, now that's on. So now over here, I'm just going to go ahead and solder the wires back to it. So, And because there's a little bit of solder on the motor and a little bit of solder on the wire, it should be pretty simple just to kind of, whoops. one and there's two. Now well, I'm just going to go ahead and snap that on because I probably should have done that earlier. And there we go. Direct drive tail mod is done. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and take it outside and do a quick test flight. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it's a lot noisier, but I do get a lot better control out of the tail, and when I want to turn it, it turns no problem. Um, it was windy today, so I couldn't take this outside and fly it around, which really unfortunate, because I really wanted to, uh, but I'll do that tomorrow or something. Um, but anyways, uh, like I said, you know, it's really cheap upgrades, and uh, you know, I think you'll really like it. Uh, and you can actually take this one step further. A uh, member of my forum, Tech Diver, uh, showed me that they make a CNC uh, tail motor mount for the Honeybee CP3. Now, uh, it's only the motor mount, so you also have to buy the fin. It comes, and you can buy a carbon fiber fin for it. And this is really cool because uh, the motor mount you're not going to break, but the fin is a carbon fiber fin, so you're probably not going to break that either. But as a beginner, you're going to crash a lot. So when you crash you're probably going to break this fin at least once or twice. Now to change this fin, the stock fin for the Honeybee Fixed Pitch version 2, you have to unsolder the motor, uh, the wires on the motor, to take the motor off so that you can change the fin. Well, if you get the uh, CNC tail motor mount and carbon fiber fin for the CP3, if you ever break the fin, then all you got to do is two screws, pop the fin off, put the new fin on, you're good to go. Much, much easier. Um, and then also, I'm going to show you a picture here in a sec. Uh, he also you know, pointed out that a lot of carbon uh, arrows, hunting arrows, are the same size as the tail wound on the Honeybee Fixed Pitch version 2. So, uh, you know, a lot of places that sell arrows, you know, hunting stores, Walmart, uh, if you get an arrow shaft and it's the same size, you can usually cut it in half and you get two booms for the price of one. So, just something uh, just to tell you about, and I'll show you some pictures here in a second. And, uh, but anyways, that was it. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and take care.